And we are back with more Against the Iron Storm with Dread Canary. I continue to be Dread Canary. The game continues to be Against the Storm. And we are on our sixth attempt at beating all the difficulties of Iron Against the Iron <laughs> Against the Storm, excuse me, without ever dropping a level. Now we will of course be playing every difficulty twice. We're about to start our second town of Prestige 5 on this, our sixth attempt. So, uh, I do love me some marshlands, and I feel like going straight out would be a good idea. I could, of course, go for the Royal Woodlands and try to aim for those question marks. Let's see. Or, we can try to catch up. No, I don't think we're going to be able to catch up to the Brass Order. So, let's just go ahead and go this way and grab ourselves... Yeah. I do love the Royal Woodlands. Let's go for a Marshlands game. We're just going to go for it. And we shall call ourselves something appropriate. <laughs> something like Aranes. And uh, we will go humans and foxes because I'm enjoying the new race. Also, it's a slightly larger caravan. Uh, in the marshlands, it's very important to have all of the camps if you can get them. So we're going to try to get them. And we will bring some extra food. Let's do this. Chat says the day you cease to be a Dread Canary, I'll be very, very worried about what the world is coming to. That's a good point. Though, um, in the near future, I may change my actual legal name to something else. Uh, not that anyone here knows what that is. Um, it won't be Dread Canary, but I do feel like I am more the Dread Canary than I am my given name uh, for various reasons. So let's take a look here. We got humans, foxes, and harpies. Food production goes up by 80% during drizzle. That's fun. And let's see. We have a gathering speed from our, yeah, and then our usual debuffs. And then up here we have uh, travel trade routes cost more during the storm. That's exciting. We have, come on. That's not what I wanted. Come on. There we go. Lose a random type of water for every two units of water. Chance of consuming more food and longer breaks. Okay, we can work with this. There we go. So, we will, of course, make our woodcutting camps. And in a fun twist of fate, the game has decided to give us two dangerous glades directly near our starting area. So we are going to go right up against them and not quite open them this year, but we do want to get very, very close so that we can open them at our earliest convenience in the following year. Oh my word, there's so many dangerous glades right around here. This is a beautiful start. Now remember, we do want to go into here, and we want to tell them, hold down shift and say only marked trees, and make that a human, just so we have the extra time. All right, we have the new bonus feature from humans that shows us the nearest fertile soil when we get into a game, so that's good to know that there is some, and that it is nearby. Zone cutters camp. Let's go ahead, and I think what I'm going to do is have humans be my woodcutters for this game. I mean, eventually it'll probably end up being foxes, but for now, eh, let's do humans so and foxes. Are. There we go. That, that should be good. Go up to speed three, and away we go. Resources we sacrifice take longer, the more impatient the queen gets. That seems fun. Free amber with packs of trade goods is good. Huh. 
the force of nature bonus. Yes, you only make stormwater during the storm unless you get a geyser going. And so, since I don't usually woodcut during the storm, I think I'd rather have Fiery Wrath. And of course, there goes our first set of orders. 22 happiness or 13 happiness. Both give parts. Both give... Oh, this gives actual food. Let's go with the one that gives actual food. Okay. If we can get beavers to 16 happiness in the next th in the next seven minutes we can get a permanent source of mushrooms plus some tools and three immediate beavers so with how much they've scaled population growth getting extra people isn't as good as it used to be and I'd actually rather have parts so we're gonna go with the trading post over here Planting being faster is not as important as harvesting being faster. So of these, I do want the dangerous glade events solved. That's what we're going to go with. Now, let's see. This fertile soil, it's not in a dangerous glade. So we will have to open up a non-dangerous glade, but I should be okay with that. Drop a harpy in there to get some mushrooms. Drop two. Well, no, let's not drop humans in there yet. Let's start by building our nonsense housing with the ever-popular comforting wall. Ever popular by me, the only person who matters, because I'm the one playing the game. I mean, that's, that's a lot like life, isn't it? Like, the only opinion that really matters about how you're living your life is you, because you're the one who has to live it. And sure, there are people you care about, and yeah, it'd be nice if they approved of what you're doing, but they don't live your life. Right? They don't they don't have to be in your body 24-7. The way you do. Oh, hey, huh. <laughs> Made this house a little too far away. Let's go ahead and delete it and just rebuild it. Fire is going out. Why is the fire going out? Do we not have enough wood? We must not have enough wood because we only have two wood cutting camps. And we don't have any beavers. So most times they think they're living their life. <laughs> okay. Someone's got a fun relationship with their, uh, their family and friends. Okay, so we're not going to run completely out of fuel. But there we go. That makes people a little bit happier. bring the, this one all the way over here and we're actually going to give permission to dig straight back into this glade because I want that farm field even though I don't have any farms I want the option of a farm field and uh, digging straight back there seems like a good idea put two humans on gathering the stone Let's go ahead and try to power through. Of course, harpies are unhappy because they're always unhappy. And I never looked at my buildings. Well, obviously, we want the foragers camp. The beanery, both humans and foxes like porridge, but harpies don't. And I don't think harpies will eat pickled goods either. So pickled goods would just be the the, hum the foxes. So the beanery is not huge. Wine. 
wines of a fox thing, porridge is as we said a fox and human thing, so the distillery's not bad, but it's not great. The kiln's not so good on the marshlands because there's usually coal deposits, and nobody I have really needs bricks. I mean, humans do for their housing, but not a lot. So I think I'm going to go with the leather worker here. I think I kind of have to go with this. Well, the supplier is so good, though. The supplier is so good, though. <sighs> the supplier is so good, though. I have to keep reminding them that they had their chance to do things a certain way. I'm going to do it my way and see how it turns out. Sounds like you're talking about parents in that case. Um, good on you for setting boundaries. I hope, uh, I hope you're able to maintain those firmly. Boundaries can be tricky. Right. I forgot about my unhappy harpy, and then she left. So, I guess we're okay. Look at that. We found a coal deposit. We found farmland. We found... Oh, this is such a good glade to find. And I guess we have harpies back. Oh, no. We have to go with the parts. We have to go with the parts. Uh, now, what we're going to do... We are going to go here, and we are going to get money. Uh -huh. We are then going to turn around and go into this glade first, I think. One blueprint from all unlocked blueprints is just too powerful to pass up. Let's take a look at our building. So, the only thing we don't have access to is bricks. And we should probably do something with that farmland, yeah? Yeah. So we're gonna grab a plantation. <laughs> Parents and older siblings sucks to be the youngest. Uh, I wouldn't know. I was an only child. Um, there's the issue sometimes of parents not having a good mental separation between themselves and their children. That is, that is true. My mother tried to raise me the way she wished she'd been raised, uh, and didn't really see me for who I was, and that I wasn't her, and it, it caused a lot of problems for a long time. So you're definitely right about that. Let's see here. We can't really do this, so let's go with this one, and we want to do it with foxes, which means. We need to grab two foxes out of here, just just two, and have them work this. And while they're working it, we're gonna get a lot of extra hostility, but they will work it quickly. T doctor. Okay, now the T doctor is a really powerful building, but it's kind of outside the range of our small hearth, so we're gonna need to put another small hearth, basically in the middle of those mushrooms. Now, I think that what I want to do is take this, not that one, this one. And we're going to move it right here. And the idea is that we want to, of course, clear out the area around this fertile ground and around this as soon as possible. And even though the warehouse is right there, it might make sense to put a warehouse down here because it's going to be such a heavily productive area. Okay, fulfill 40 jerky. Humans don't eat jerky anymore, so we're just looking at harpies. I don't have a good source of meat, so let's go with the trade routes. I don't have the ability, I don't have the crystallized dew for the foxes, so we have to ignore that one. Let's go with this. I don't love it, but it is something. Let's replace you with humans for now. Do 
need a trading post, and when we get a trading post, we are going to have another order completed. This should be okay. Should. Not well, but should. First off, we want a supplier. Well, I mean, for anything else, I should probably get a crude workstation down. Stonecutter's camp is out. Well, that's fine. We're going to move the Stonecutter's camp up here to get this stone, but also, we're going to fire these and put humans herbalist camp. Yeah, uh -huh. To get food. This is still being worked. That's pretty great. Let's go up around here. And we're gonna do this for a nice little area. And we will do Fox House. Fox House. Human House. Harvey House, Harvey House. Let's go ahead and fire these people. We're gonna fire these people too. We will open up this glade next. Just all the way across. Just all of that. That sounds amazing. Uh, we also are going to move this shelter, which I kind of put in a weird spot. And we're gonna put a leather worker here. So let's see. This just needs two planks, uh, and this needs three and three. So, I guess all we need is the two planks. Do that first. Uh, and then we're not going to make any fabric, but we are going to make bricks out of stone. We're going to save up to 50 bricks, but we're not going to necessarily need them anytime soon. have food. Right. Let's go ahead and do this, which will make people unhappy, but only for a moment. And I guess now is a good time to bring harpies back in, because we have harpy housing up. Bonus herb production for free. Um, oh yeah, let's just take Fiery Wrath again. So the more impatient the queen gets, the uh, more our fuel lasts. Oh, we can do this with mushrooms? Absolutely, we do this with mushrooms. That should be real nice. And at some point, I need to make a trading post. So let's just make a trading post. Yeah, I knew when I got the supplier that the provisioner might show up and make the supplier less valuable. But, I mean, it's still okay. The... Herbalist camp. We're gonna move. I don't want to delete an herbalist camp on this kind of map, so we're gonna go ahead and just move it and call it good. 
two humans in here? We sure do. Okay, never make planks again. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna... Oh, hey, the supplier counts as a fabric building. So what we're gonna say is up to 100 planks up to 500 flour, and that should keep you busy for a while. Where's my other harpy? My other harpy is working this for now, that's okay. We'll put them in the leather worker. There's our order, so let's go ahead and turn that in. Get some parts, get some tools. Get another building. Okay, so... Skewers is a fox only thing. Copper bars could be okay. Scrolls is a harpy only thing. Ale is a human only thing. And tools could be good across the board. I don't really want more farms. I'm going to go with a clothier. I don't make clothes often enough. Um, let's talk to old Farliff and see what he has. He's got a smelter. Which, I don't oh. think I've got anything that lets me smelt copper bars. So getting a smelter might actually be pretty big. Let's see. I don't really need anything else that he has. Parts would be nice, but I, I can't really afford them. I mean, if I sell all of my... I'm not going to sell all of these, though. There's so many orders that use them. But I want to make sure I will be able to do... There we go. We do have, I believe, the advanced foragers camp, so I can do some advanced foraging. Which will be nice. I don't think I need any fabric over here. So you're the only thing that needs fabric, and once we have three fabric, we're all good. Ah, two dangerous glade events completed. Bonus copper is nice, plus, of course, that and another building. And we will finish off our building materials collection with the brickyard. Which means uh, we actually stop making bricks here too. Literally, the only thing we want to make here is fabric. Throw two humans on the foragers camp. We will need a light post. Actually, let's do it this way. do is we are going to build a brickyard and then we're going to put our blight post next to the brickyard and that's going to form a nice six by yeah 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 yeah. and then we can put housing back here oh i like this i need the year three blight post exactly exactly what i'm saying You know what? I think we're going to be able to do the eight, year, the eight trade routes. And we can already do this. So let's just do that. Get a pile of food. Uh, you can make fabric out of anything, please. Thank you. I'm like, what's the holdup? Well, of course, that's the holdup. Um, this is going too well. I don't, I don't like it. Like, we are hammering out way too many bonuses way too quickly. We've got 
tons of food. Like, what is this? Did I accidentally lower the difficulty somehow? I didn't, but what's going on? I guess sometimes R and Jesus just loves you. Okay. You no longer make fabric. And in fact, this crude workstation is going to get moved here. Okay, we're over one impatience, so we can do this. Let's go ahead and drop two humans in the stonecutter's camp. Mm -hmm. And we can also do that, and we can do this. two harpies in here, and the plan is just make all the fabric you can out of, well, first this, and then that, and then this, if you need to. Not sure what I just, op what, how that opened, but okay. Turn that off, turn that off, that should be good. So now, of course, harpies are ecstatic because they're eating favorite foods, they're in jobs that they like. That's all wonderful. We've got Hostility 3. Um, I don't think I really want to be... Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah. The good news is that the... Hearth won't get totally corrupted. The bad news... Foxes are miserable. Okay, what if I favor them? Come on. Come on. There we go. Barely. Additional cysts appeared, but as we said, the, the heart's not getting corrupted. say that we want to do this first, and we want to do this second, and we want to delete these. And what we want to do is put them back in afterward. Oh, and there's a, a pattern I haven't done in a while which is the human houses have front doors. And uh, I think they'll go with thorny reeds for this one. Okay, we got to the storm. And that means it is time to open up yet another glade. Who's all stored fuel? What stored fuel do we have? 64 coal is a lot of stored fuel to lose out on. But there is the potential of a mine here for coal. And plus one wood production is massive, so we're gonna do it. And we will go ahead and grab... Uh, I think this mix looks good. Now, how do we deal with this? I can either use fuel I don't have, or we can just use a bunch of scrolls that we somehow got. And amber. Do I have amber? I don't have amber. Okay. We're going to invoke some, uh, some Queen's Anger here. So there are two people in the brickyard. Uh -huh. And the only thing you make for me, for now. Is gonna be bricks. 
but eventually we may, may have to make some crystallized dew. Like up to 50. Now, we need 15 amber for this before we do anything else. Nearby. Bonus insects when we mushroom, that could be good. If we can get another 14. I don't think we can afford this though. Oh, no, maybe we can. That should allow me to do this. And that's pretty good. Uh, next building. Okay. So the ability to make tools could be nice. But also there's a market. And foxes use luxury. Both foxes and harpies use treatment, and it lets me upgrade my uh, hearths. Let's see. Why humans in the brickyard? It's a fox building. Is it a fox building? It is a fox building. I didn't realize that that was a fox building. Okay. Get out. I guess that makes sense since it makes crystallized dew. And then for the blight post, uh, let's go ahead and throw a harpy in here. We're going to set a cap of 20. Let's throw two harpies. Mm. Yeah, let's throw two harpies in here for now. This one, we're going to bring up here because we wanted to put a hearth in that area. And we can put a human in the plantation. Can I get another human anywhere? Not really. because we're using the blight post. That makes sense. Oh, hey. This is, this is great. There's going to be so much food coming in. At some point, I need to be able to uh, start doing trade routes, and we need to put people in a mine. Like, we're at the stage where I've got more, more jobs than people. And it's just a question of how many... useful places and make sure that my town continues to run at all. Even houses are going up. Next order is going to be have 50 amber and a market. Well, I've already got the market blueprint. This lets gives us an extra trade route slot and people come faster. We also get a pile of food. Or we'll take the advanced district. I like the advanced district. I'm going to be doing the advanced district anyway because I really like upgrading my hearths. Before we just stop wood cutting. Not 
entirely anyway. We need the fuel. But I can turn off plank production. And we can turn off purging fire production. Force delivery. Hmm. Not quite enough. Okay, yeah, and now we're running into the part where people are miserable. So, what can I do about it? Well, for one thing, Which won't be enough. We are going to lose people this year. But losing a pile of people... ...raised the Queen's impatience enough that we should be okay. Okay. Great. I mean, it's not actually great, but... Now, whatever. Hey, three free clay per minute means that we'll never run out of stuff for bricks and we can use any stone that we get for roads. I love that. Or traders have an extra cornerstone. Let's go ahead and do clay delivery. That seems amazing. And we're going to actually turn off stone entirely. And now, let's see, where do we have people? Well, once coal starts coming in, I'm going to put us on the coal burning standard, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and put two humans here. And where did I want that, that hearth? I think I want it here. Okay. So we're going to say that we want to cut that open. And we're not going to open up any more glades this year because... Frankly, I've got enough that I need to consolidate. Let's go ahead and grab more people. We've got a ton of humans, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll throw three foxes in here. Okay. And we will use insects to get money. We'll also put a harpy in the herbalist camp. Other worker can just keep making fabric. That's all good. Food's coming in. We do need trade routes, which means we only need this. We can turn planks back on, I think. And now... Yeah, now we start doing that. Still need a second farmer on the plantation. I do need a second farmer on the plantation. Thank you. Hilda. Yeah. Okay. Fuel burning longer is always nice. Food production speed is nice. Getting bonus happiness is really good. Planks would be great. Crystallized dew would be amazing, honestly, if it could get it. So we need to do trade routes, we need to, oh, yeah, we need trade routes, we need value of goods still. Well, we'll get those together at the same time. So I'm not really worried about it now. We have tons of food, just most of which is, honestly, mushrooms. Maybe I buy planks just to make sure that we have building materials so we don't have to build them. That seems like a waste, though, given how much wood we're getting. I don't know that I actually need to buy anything. Let's go ahead and take this bonus... Resolve?
let's add the ability to do crystallized dew. Now for crystallized dew, uh, we are going to use anything we need to. We're going to say we want a cap of 20. You absolutely can use stone, and you can use whatever water you can get your hands on, which means that I should probably get your hands on some water, yeah? And let's see, what do I want to put in there? I think some more thorny reeds. Sounds great. Uh, actually, while we're at it, any chance I can buy just a ton of planks? No, I don't have uh, I don't have anything I can sell for a ton of planks. So we're gonna go ahead and move this up here. Start forging that. Smelters up. That's good. Smelter can make pipes, which means that there's literally no reason to have this building anymore. So we'll delete it. The only thing we're really waiting on at this point is planks, I think. Now five plus three, that's that's eight, so that's sixteen housing. Which means we need just a little bit more housing. Let's do that. And you know what would be funny? Okay. Let's do that. I like that as a layout. I think that's going to look really fun. We're not doing any happy burning, right? No? Perfect. We've got fuel coming in slowly. Slowly getting faster. Okay. two foxes there, and we're adding those foxes primarily so that we can make crystallized dew, so that we can make fox housing, so that we can get our fox happiness up. At least we're not going to run out of fuel this year. Fire them. I'm going to bring these over here and fire them. That'll lower housing significantly. Or not housing, that'll lower unhappiness significantly. Have 18 foxes for 30 seconds or burn 20 cysts and have 15. We'll do that. We're going to need to burn the cysts eventually anyway. Resolve is low. But it's kind of okay, right? Kind of okay. Uh, if we burn, it'll be 14 a minute. That's not bad at all, actually. Thank you, uh, Double Fiery Wrath, which is saying that our stuff burns 40% longer when we sacrifice it because the queen's unhappy with us. That's just going to give us so much benefit over the course of the game. It's going to be really good. Really, really good. Okay, we can stop our happy burn. Oh, that's tempting. Lose 14 coal to make it up to 3 wood. Yeah. I gotta. That's just, that's just so funny. As a as a stacking buff. Okay. So 
first off, I do want to make this as many harpies as possible. Just so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, this building, we need to rebuild, but we can't rebuild it yet. This building's good, this building's good. This building I can't really do anything with yet. Okay. Can't really do anything here either. How many parts do I have? One. Not enough to do anything with. Alright. Alright. Well. Uh, maybe. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no. I, I want I to do them here. So I can't exactly do provisions yet because I don't exactly have planks. But... We have a lot of people, so building stuff should be pretty quick. Planks are going up. Flowers going up too. Do we have anything I can... I can make biscuits here. Okay. So here's what we're going to say. We're going to see we want to do copper bars first, and we want to do up to 50 of those. If we can, we want to do it using coal. Then... We want to use copper bars to make up to 20 pipes. Then, we're going to use flour and herbs, uh, flour and berries, to make up to 100 biscuits. And we're going to staff this with a harpy. I think that'll be alright. The small trapper's camp would be great if I had you know, the parts for it, but I don't. I don't. Fuel's going up. Light rod cysts have been created. Hey, Sother, how you doing? Ooh, longer drizzle is, is an idea. It's time for a nice wall. turn off the ability to use coal. So that'll give us a little bit faster production speed all around. We want a wall corner. How much more do we need? Four? good. Woodcutter is out of suitable trees. Well, we can't have that, so we'll go ahead and go over here and chop down a nice shelf of tree. We're low on fuel. We're not out of fuel. Um, 
using bricks and pipes would be great. Housing is actually starting to look pretty good once these guys get some planks. Of course, planks are the holdup, because planks are also going to the market. There we go, there's our market. Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and fire. Carvers. Which will help, but not enough. If I put, we'll call it three boxes in here, we'll be able to carry more. Which will help. Thirteen coal per minute. So up to fifty percent. Almost. Kind of want to do the mine carts. Now, people are unhappy, but that's okay because we got most of the way through the storm first. So, like, I'm going to lose a harpy. I don't know if I'll lose a fox. I might. Yeah, I'm gonna lose a fox, too. Grain production increases by one every 25 times. That's really nice. Let's go ahead and do grain bags. Get some free grain. Now, of course, we're at year seven, and that means it's time to end the video. So, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for spending nearly an hour with me. I would love it if you gave it a like, a subscribe, a comment, a share. All of those things would be wonderful. I'm told it can possibly boost me in the algorithm, and we would love that. So, please do, if you're willing to. If you want to catch me live, it's Monday and Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern, over on twitch.tv slash dreadcanary. And, of course, I will announce any scheduled changes on my Twitter at Ghost Finch Media. So go ahead and give me a follow there. Uh, eventually, I'm hoping to have it give updates on more than just this, but this is all I'm doing for now. So this is all that's getting posted. So I won't spam you with tweets if you follow me. Regardless, I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I would love to see you in the next one. Bye, YouTube.